first I'm going to demonstrate, just go ahead and show, show it in action. Run the script. Just like that, we've sent an email. Now we'll go to my uh, email that I sent it to. Of course, because of some of the features of the email, it sends it to the spam folder. And there we have it. There's the email. Now I've went ahead and set it up to... It sends me the IP address, which I sh is I'm showing the world, but whatever. This is a demo box. Shows me the user. It's got a timestamp in there. And uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Let's uh, look at how we do it. And by the way, Yandex is, is not a good um, place to get an SMTP server because the server bots are really paranoid. And I guarantee you tomorrow if I went on there and tried to use it, I'd be locked out of the account. So uh, find an SMTP server that's not excessively paranoid because they... Uh, it should, this is just for demonstration, though. And uh, what we do down here at the bottom, we put the... Of course, you could you could do a, a raw input command, like we could say uh, um, server name equals raw input. Server name. And then get the server name from the user and then plug the variable server name in here. But you got to put the server name in there, the login, the email address, the login, and then this is the from email and the to email. And I'll scroll up here and let you check out the... Uh, now what I did with the... Um, to get the the IP address, um, the date stamp, the user, and all that, what I did was I imported the OS and Sys modules and I set up, well, that's really unnecessary right there, but I go ahead and first thing I do is I remove the dump file. Then I do a curl ICANNHASIP.com and append that to a file called IP.dat, which what this command does is it lets you access a website basically from the server. And this website right here just gives you your IP address. Then we dump the date, we append that to the file, we dump who am I, which gives us the user on the system to the file and then we open a file as INS set a global list we call it array it's empty for now then we go through every line of the file and we append that to the array and now down here in the array we plug those into the email and that gives us the IP address the user uh, the date and all that and this huge thing right here is the email. Now it's in HTML. So I'll, um, I'll put a link, I guess, to this script in the description so you can actually use it yourself. But uh, in between these quotes here is the actual email. Now some of this you gotta actually have like accurate like the from to and as you can see we got some HTML down here and uh, it's just the gist of it the modules we're gonna need are SMTP lib uh, OS for some of the things I did down there and then the rest of these here and of course you can always pause the video and write this down if you want it, it probably would help you to remember it I'll give you a chance to do that I'll Scroll down each part of the each piece at a time. Those are just a lot of comments in there. It's if you get rid of all the comments here, it's not really that big of a script. It's really short. And uh, just one more demonstration. We'll go ahead and run that again. And then, of course, it goes to my spam folder. And you know why it did that? Yeah, new message down there. From it just popped up with a new message. It's because and the index is a really picky server, as you can see, and it sends me the data. And the reason why it went to my spam folder is because, where is it, somewhere in here, ah, 
I forgot to change that update the email and see that's not a valid and it sees that on the system and it thinks oh, this is uh, spam but there's you know different SMTP servers out there and, and they're they're all different the index is just really paranoid as, as you can see I'm just doing a demonstration here and by tomorrow I'll be blocked out of that account but um, that's pretty much it it's short it's simple it's sweet um, now, if you want to know how to incorporate this in a server, uh, check out my other tutorial on uh, the innate variable for name, and I explain how you can uh, you can import your SMTP email module from the main server, and then send it a signal and have it do what you want when you want it to do it. So, pretty cool. Anyway, that's all for this short uh, demonstration. I hope you found these videos helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I do want to apologize for my past videos. I was using just my regular HD camera and pointing it at the screen to do my tutorials, and it's shaky and it's frustrating. And then I was trying to use a software called Record My Desktop, and it was just absolutely horrible. The video and the audio wouldn't be synced up, and it just it was just a mess. Now I finally got some software on here, and it works really good, and I'm using it. And uh, so from here on out, my tutorials are going to be a lot more professional looking and, and uh, steady and the audio and the video will be synced up. So thanks a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Again, you can pause the video, go through the code, write it down, study it, learn it. Short, simple, sweet. If I took all these comments out of here, it would probably wouldn't even have to scroll down, but maybe that far. Until next time, I'm Scott.